With the retirement of U.S. Supreme Court Justice John Paul Stevens uh, just around the corner, rumors are swirling about who his replacement will be. Uh, some new names, new names on the so-called short list. Federal Judge uh, Sidney Thomas of Montana, Harvard Law School Dean Martha Minow, and Elizabeth Warren, who heads the government's asset relief program. But the one name sparking lots of attention, the name of the Secretary of State. Yeah, I even heard the name Hillary Clinton today, you know, and uh, that would be an interesting uh, person in the mix. I happen to like uh, Hillary Clinton. I think she's uh, done a good job for the Democrat uh, 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 Secretary of State's position, and I have a h high respect for her and, uh, and think a great deal of her. Let's bring in our senior political uh, analyst, Gloria Borger. Uh, what are you hearing, uh, Gloria? Uh, first of all, how, how realistic is this notion that None. Senator Hatch is advancing <laughs> that Hillary Clinton would be the next justice on the Supreme Court? Uh, I'm told not at all realistic. In fact, someone, uh, a, a senior Democratic strategist said to me today, maybe Hatch misheard, maybe it was William uh, Clinton, Bill Clinton they were talking about. You know, there is precedent, William Howard Taft. Former president was a, a, appointed a chief justice of the Supreme Court in 1921. So he said to me, well, maybe they've got the wrong Clinton. But uh, as far as this White House is concerned, Hillary Clinton's doing a great job as Secretary of State. That's exactly where they want to keep her.